We're told a yoga mat is 3 fifths of a meter wide and has an area of 1 and 2 25ths square meters. What is the length of the mat? Well, we know that length times width is going to give you area. Or another way of thinking about it, if the product of two numbers gives you a third number, if you take that third number and divide it by one of these, you're going to get the other one. So another way of thinking about it is length it would be the same thing as area divided by width. So we're trying to figure out the length here. We have the area, we have the width. So our length is going to be 1 and 2 25ths, 1 and 2 25ths, divided by 3 fifths. Now this is going to be the same thing as, let me write this as an improper fraction. It's going to be easier to do some arithmetic with it. So 1 is the same thing as 25 25ths plus 2 25ths. This is 27 25ths divided by 3 fifths. And we've already talked about how this is saying how many 3 fifths can fit into 27 20 fifths. And we've given the intuition why this is the same thing as just multiplying 27 20 fifths times the reciprocal of 3 fifths, which is 5 thirds. And so this is going to be equal to, and actually I'm going to factor this out a little bit to simplify things a bit. 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. 25 is 5 times 5. So this is going to be equal to, in our numerator, we're going to have 3 times 3 times 3 times 5. 3 times 3 times 3 times 5. And then in our denominator, we're going to have 5 times 5 times 3. 5 times 5 times 3. And then we can reduce this a little bit. We can divide both the numerator and the denominator by a 5. We can divide both the numerator and the denominator by a 3. So in the numerator, we're going to have 3 times 3 which is 9 fifths. So this is all going to be equal to 9 fifths. So the yoga mat is 3 fifths of a meter wide and 9 fifths of a meter long. Now let's make sure that this makes sense. So I'm going to make a grid. So this right over here is 1 fifth of a meter. 1 fifth of a meter in that dimension and 1 fifth of a meter in that dimension. And then we can see, well, if it, this is 1 fifth of a meter, then the width right over here is 3 fifths of a meter. And our length right over here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 fifths. It is 9 fifths. Now, each of these units, what is its area? Well, it is 1 25th meter squared. And how many of these do we have? Well, we can see we have three rows of nine, which is 27 of these 20 fifths. So we're going to have 27 25 square meters, which is the same thing as one and two fifths square meters.